Before the break, we told you the guy that had warned us, or one of them, uh, about Bernie Madoff has a new warning, and the warning is about General Electric. And, you know, whatever you think, Christina Parts and Envelos joins us now. People are clearly listening. This stock's getting hammered today. Yeah, clearly. You're seeing it down almost 12 percent, and that's because the accounting expert, Harry Makopoulos, uh, he came out saying that GE is facing the largest accounting scandal ever that he's ever seen. He's been researching this with his team for the past seven months. He published a document, a research paper, on GEfraud.com. It's about 175 pages making allegations that GE has a massive accounting fraud totaling $38 billion and that it's potentially even bigger than Enron. And that's what you're seeing on your screen right there. So before we get to the allegations, I want to get to the comment that I got from GE this morning. Their spokesperson said the claims made by Mr. Marco Polis are meritless. The company has never met, spoken to, or had contact with Mr. Marco Polis. And we are extremely disappointed that an individual with no direct knowledge of GE would choose to make such serious and substantial, uh, substantiated claims. And so some of those claims in this document are, and these are the allegations from the whistleblower, that GE has been hiding roughly $29 billion in long-term care losses that pertains to their long-term care uh, insurance units, uh, think nursing homes and all that. And then they need an additional $18.5 billion in reserves. They have issues with the Baker Hughes accounting. They also went on to say in this document that GE changes its accounting reporting every two to four years, making it much harder to prevent comparisons. And they argue that the company could potentially go bankrupt from all of these changes in Accounting practices. There is a big but, though, and that is Marco, uh, Marco Polis. Sorry, was looking into GE for an unidentified hedge fund. So he's being paid by a hedge fund. So I asked GE specifically about this hedge fund, and they, the spokesperson said that such funds are usually financially motivated, we know this, to attempt to generate short selling, and that's how they can turn a profit. And what is happening today? The stock is dropping, meaning short sellers are benefiting. So take a look at the stock again. We're seeing it down over almost now, even, even down more, down over 12%. The company, though, is arguing that they are well-supported. They have reserves. They do adequate testing to make sure they have enough money. But we know the company currently is being investigated by the Department of Justice and the SEC for accounting practices related to their power business. So that's it's a big move in the stock. That's a huge move in the stock. Thanks, huge Christina. Move. Before Thanks. we move on, I know, David, on that last point, Christina was was making the motivation here. You want to say something, yeah, right? I think that you have had uh, I don't ever want to bash short sellers. Sometimes they're shining a light on things that are bad and need to be revealed. But in this case, it is a, a difficulty in our system that you don't don't need the fundamentals to be true. You don't need the story to be right. Merely saying it creates the result for the short sellers. The fact he's working for an unidentified hedge fund. If someone did this on the long side, yeah. they'd be going to jail. It'd be called inside trading. On the short side, you're allowed to do it. I have a problem with that. Right. We haven't had an investigation yet, or we don't know what really happened. All right.